I know it's so um, awesome the way that it says that. Um, and then I'm just gonna see, give me just a second, make host. Excellent. All right, welcome you guys. So excited to have you here. Um, I can't believe it's already December. Holy moly, this has creeped up on myself as well, but this is gonna get you guys in the Christmas festive spirit. Um, let's just, oh no. I'm not gonna make you host, Candace, I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, now, how do I reclaim host? Reclaim, found it. <laughs> you think after so many years of using Zoom, you would uh, know how to use the application, but there we go. Woohoo! Christmas Winter Wonderland DIY Workshop. Okay, so we're gonna start with probably one of my favorite things during the season is all the goodies, all the delicious treats, all the festive drinks. Um, I know baking is a couple of your guys' favorite things too. So hopefully I'll add some new tidbits to add to your baking repertoire coming up. Okay, so spiced apple cider. I love all the lovely warm, homey drinks. Oh no, what did I do? It's going to be that kind of day today. There we go. Um, and I got to say a lot of these recipes don't include alcohol, but it's really easy to add alcohol to this. Throw in some nice rum. Um, there's a couple recipes here. You can do this recipe, but I prefer to add one of each to my hot apple cider. So that's a drop of wild orange, cinnamon bark, cassia, or ginger. Now, if you don't have one of those, um, substitute with something close. So cinnamon and cassia are very similar. If you don't have ginger, use some fresh ginger. And of course, wild orange. If you don't have wild orange, just throw in some lemon. So this is a wonderful way to kind of spice up your apple cider. Now, this is my kind of drink. Yum, right? Hi, Jordan. Nice to see you or hear from you. Um, I love champagne cocktails. Now, this might be a New Year's Eve thing, but I think it could be a Christmas Eve thing as well. Um, it's just a couple things that you need. It's just some lovely champagne or sparkling wine, Prosecco, with a little bit of sugar. You can omit that if you're on a not a sugar binge with some bitters and, of course, some wild orange and a splash of cranberry juice chef's kiss. It's like one of those drinks that you order this time of year. You can throw a couple of cranberries, like fresh cranberries on top as like a garnish. I think it'd be absolutely beautiful and just festive and fun. Oh, no. Oh my goodness gracious, you guys. It's going to be that kind of day. <laughs> Okay, cranberry lime spritzer. So this is kind of like a low cal. Um, if you're maybe worried about, you know, having one too many cookies, which honestly this time of year, I love all the cookies this time of year, but this is kind of like a low sugar, um, no alcohol or zero proof cocktail. So it's great for the kids as well. And of course, if you want to spice it up, throw in your favorite gin in there or throw in your favorite vodka and this would be delish. So again, cranberry juice, sparkling water, um, and you can use bubbly or flavored water too, to make this a little bit cool, fun twist and you use lime essential oil. I was actually thinking the other day while I was, I was putting this together, it would be really good to add maybe a hint of vanilla. Be kind of like a cranberry vanilla spin on things. I've been trying to be creative with the brand new essential oil. So I'm gonna be looking forward to using that this coming season. Um, and then of course, garnish with some fresh mint or some fresh cranberries. Yum, lime wedge, you know, the good stuff. Now we're going to hop into some baking um, gingerbread cookies. You, you may be looking at this recipe and like, this is a very different recipe. This is a healthier gingerbread cookie recipe. So there is a lot of ingredients here, but this is like buckwheat flour, 
baking soda, using coconut sugar instead of conventional sugar. I know we can find all the regular gingerbread cookies online, so I wanted to be a little creative with this. And then of course, if you have a recipe that you love with your gingerbread, just sub in the oils. So it takes a couple drops of clove, couple drops of ginger and cinnamon bark. So I probably could have done an entire workshop on just baking cookies because I found so many different recipes for cookies that I'm so stoked to try. But just as a reference, you can use about three to five drops of the cooking baking spice, which is brand new. Um, there's still some available in our holiday collection. Add to your cookies, add to your fresh pies, add to your cakes and breads and candy. Yum, right? So if you didn't have the baking spice, have no fear because here's some great examples on how to spice up your pies. Um, apple pie with a hint of lemon, delish. Pumpkin pie, very traditional with some cassia, ginger and clove, all those heavy duty spices. And cranberry and wild orange is just a match made in heaven. And if you notice like, a lot of the oils that we use in our cooking and our baking are kind of all the same. So it's really awesome this time of year, you pull out those spicier oils, you pull out those, those specific citrus oils and infuse them into your baking. How are you guys doing? I can't see the chat, so hope you're doing great. <laughs> Rosemary mashed potatoes, yum. So again, I find this time of year, so normally I have my herb garden and I got to make mine a little bit more robust this year. And I usually go and clip some fresh herbs when I'm cooking, but I find as the winter season here, I don't use as many fresh herbs. So I love combining some of my dried herbs with essential oils because it infuses that same freshness that you would have having fresh herbs. You don't have, you still have the antioxidant profile. You still have the amazing herby taste um, without, you know, not having any of those fresh herbs on hand. So this is a great way to use rosemary essential. And who doesn't love mashed potatoes? Now they used half a cup of cream. I probably use more and I usually sub in whipping cream <laughs> for my mashed potatoes because, you know, the decadence, right? Oh no, what is happening? Give it a sec, it's having a meltdown. Okay, carrots, where are you? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Give me just a sec, let me just reboot this. Sorry guys, there we go. Um, where are you? There we go. Da, 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 da. Excellent. So traditional turkey. This is kind of a fun twist, citrus and herb. Oh, and if you guys want the recipe, because I know our faces are kind of um, blocking it, um, I can, I'll be emailing this out with the recipe book. So you guys will have all these recipes on hand. So don't be freaking out if you're trying to feverishly write all these recipes down. But it's kind of just like a nice twist on your turkey. You can use this also for roast chicken or duck, duck and orange, delish. Um, it's just a great, Another example of using these oils. I don't know why it's just not cooperating with me today. There we go. That's just more of the recipe. Honey thyme roasted carrots. Yum. So I love doing different recipes for carrots. It's just like a fun way to experiment in the kitchen. Um, some Sometimes we don't want to stray away from our traditional, you know, turkey and mashed potato recipes, but the carrots or the Brussels sprouts, you will just want to like spice things up a little bit. This is a great, great way to do it. And honestly, you just need a drop of thyme oil. You do not need a lot. So when you're baking, it's a little bit different because you're putting a lot into the batter and it's cooking. I find with when you're actually like using um, like dressings on salads or in your vegetables, you don't need as much as these herbs 
and clovey spices in your recipes. You know, my computer is just not, it's having a day today. <laughs> okay, perfect. Sweet and spicy cranberry sauce. So I know Tannice has talked about adding wild orange to her cranberry sauce. Hello, it's delicious. This is a little bit different twist as well, is adding a jalapeno dice into it. So if you like a little bit of kick, um, if none of the kids are not a big cranberry fan, and then just you and the family members want a little bit different, this is a great way to spice up your cranberry sauce. Um, and it's again, a super easy recipe. So before we go on to the next section, we are gonna do a giveaway. Now, where is the chat? Dun, 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 dun. Okay. We're just gonna do this, perfect. Okay. So to win the prize tonight, the first prize, please type into the chat an oil you use regularly in the kitchen. First one to type it wins. Okay, Amanda wins with lemon and you need to type or let me know, how do you like to use lemon in the kitchen? And then I'll show you what you won. I'm gonna guess salad dressings, cleaning veggies, awesome. Okay, in drinks, excellent. So Amanda, you won an oil drop cookie cutter. Congratulations, can't need to write this down. I just thought, oh, I didn't bring a piece of paper out. That's okay. Amanda, oil cookie cutter. Awesome, congratulations. That's fun and exciting for all your cookie decorating times. All right. So we're going on to our DIY section, made with love. I think it's kind of, when I was putting this together, I was really being reminded about how this time of year is about being generous and time with family and how much more special is it to make something and give it with love and positive intention. So there's a couple cool DIYs in here that I'm super excited to share. Oh, you're booking baking time with your nieces. Oh, I love it. I love it. I knew you did that. There's a couple other people who do that too. And I remember you mentioning that before. I love it. Okay. So some DIYs, holiday body spray. So I put this in here and some people may not use it, but I find if you're having teens or preteens, what are they called? Tweens. Um, they're wanting all this like bath and body shop toxic spray. This is a really simple, festive, um, safe, um, and it gives them such positive emotional benefits too. And it's so easy and so quick to make. You can print off a really cool label from your computer or you can go online and there's amazing labels that you can purchase online. If you want a cool company locally um, in Canada, uh, just let me know and I can share with that with you guys. So this is a great alternative to having those synthetic fragrances for people in your life who are wanting that the body shop or, you know, the alternative. Um, brands. And then of course the holiday room spray. Um, I love having this time of year um, for just making all things like immersive in your home and so beautiful and like spraying the pillows or spraying your like linens when they come out of the wash. It just makes everything feel fresh and without those like like yuckiness, right? Um, so true. My 13 year old niece loves those DIY body sprays. I don't know about you guys, but I remember them when I was a kid too um, and a teenager. Like we just doused ourselves in them. Yeah. So this is a great alternative and you can make it super cute and pretty. Um, and it's like unique. Like it's like this was made for you. And you can, I personally like blending 
adding things that I know that they will personally benefit. So if there's something that's personal to them, I don't know, guys. Well, spoiler alert. <laughs> okay. Um, and then also, there's a fun tip at the bottom about upcycling your empties. So actually taking your 15 mil bottles and just putting a spray on top, you can actually soak these um, in lemon. Um, I throw them in the dishwasher too, once I've taken the label off to cleanse them. And it makes great stocking stuffers or even just like teacher's gifts or just like a small gift to have on hand. Like if you have if you're doing a gift for a friend, it's also a nice festive way to do things and you're not purchasing more stuff and you're just upcycling, which I thought was awesome. Okay, so some more DIYs and we're gonna do some fun tech stuff. If you know what to do with the QR code, you guys can go for it now. If not, I'll give you guys a lesson in just a minute. So sugar scrubs. I love this recipe this time of year because it is like a peppermint, candy cane bliss it is so invigorating in the shower i find we sometimes forget to exfoliate our bodies this time of year and especially going into the winter season our skin needs that extra bed of love so how cool grabbing like one of those small mason jars throwing this recipe in and like giving it to someone as a gift is so beautiful if you have vanilla i would totally incorporate vanilla into this recipe and it's going to be this like lovely pepperminty vanilla luxurious body scrub that's just gonna be fun and like throw a cute little ribbon on it it's just like super nice and cute and awesome okay do you guys know how to use this qr code yes no maybe so Okay, so someone is chatting. Yep, good job, Tandis. In case you don't know how to use this QR code, um, basically what you do is you pull up your phone and you pull up your camera. And basically when you hover your camera over the code, it will open a link. Pretty cool, right? It's because the recipe was really big and I didn't want to put it on the slides. <laughs> So this is a great gingerbread bath bombs and scrub. So if you're all about putting two and two together, um, this is gonna be a great recipe for you. And bath bombs are so fun. I love them. Um, they fizz in the tub, they make it like super, you know, playful. Um, but again, a lot of the ones that are sh like sold in stores right now are full of nasty chemicals, fragrance, and I personally just add a plant-based food dye, and that way you can make those fun Christmas colors without having, again, those artificial coloring agents. Um, just a tip, when you're using, go putting in your mix, use a wide funnel, putting it into your containers and push the sugar down and then, yeah, seal it with a nice ribbon and be on your way. OMG. <laughs> okay so this is a kind of a big diy so this is not for the faint of heart um making candles is not for everyone so i have an alternative um but this is a great awesome if you're a diyer this is something i'm sure you've already done but adding in our holiday joy blend or holiday piece um, Siberian fur is a great one and just creates this beautiful festive candle and again like throw it in one of those mason jars uh, makes a great gift. Um, this recipe will make four candles, which is epic if you're not a DIYer, but you want a really cool candle centerpiece for your table I love this idea like you just like get some fresh sprigs of like pine if you have a tree in the backyard um some fresh cranberries a light um just a tea light and then you can actually throw oils on the top of that and it is like a diffuser in the middle of your table which is so cool i would just love if my powerpoint would work and my computer would work for me ah uh, i just <laughs> Do 
we go. And of course the picture didn't load, but whatever. It's just gonna be what it's gonna be. Okay, I got gifted a shower steamer last Christmas in my stocking. You guys, I'm obsessed. It is so amazing. So you've probably heard me talk about putting eucalyptus at the opposite end of the shower. Okay, these things, like when you make them, it lasts like two or three showers and it's the opposite end and it just diffuses into your shower. It feels like you're in a high-end spa. Like I flip and love it. It is, it's a little bit of a slower process than putting just oils directly at the end of your shower. Um, don't place it where the water is streaming out. You want on the opposite end of your shower um, or where the water's not directly hitting it. So then it lasts longer, but a great way. And like, if you look at the ingredients, it's stuff that you have around your house, which is what I love a lot of DIY, simple DIYs is the only ones I will do because I don't have time to do all these things. So I love simplicity, baking soda, um, use the holiday peace blend or the holiday joy blend. I love eucalyptus or easy air. And it's just, if anyone's feeling, you know, bunged up congestion, this is like epic for in your shower. OMG. <laughs> These haven't dropped any F-bombs yet. Uh <laughs> So this is the Nourishing Glowing Skin Oil. This is unreal. So this is an Ange Peters special. Um, I love all the serums. I love high-end facial skincare. You guys, we have the highest end oils. So this has some beautiful ingredients. And now if you need substitutions, just holler at me and I will help you through it. Blue Tansy specifically. There is a serum that's sold at Sephora and this is beautiful blue hue. And literally there's like, they're charging almost $200 for this small bottle. And it doesn't really even have very much blue tansy in it. Like it's crazy what a lot of these places sell for pure essential oils. And we have all these amazing ingredients to make high vibe, nourishing, high grade, luxurious facial oils. So this is a combination of lavender, frankincense, which are so healing and powerful to your skin. Copaiba, you know, decreasing inflammation in your skin. Geranium, which is beautiful as well for your skin. Blue tansy is like liquid gold. But yes, if you don't have it diluted, you'll be a blue smurf. Um, jojoba or argan oil, depending on your skin type. And then some yarrow palm serum. This is like liquid gold liquid gold so you of course can like get a cute little dropper um get some really pretty labels this is like beautiful on your skin oh my goodness can we use a different oil for the facial serum like the new fractionated color? yes you totally can i can't it that is a combination of several skin oils i don't have it here it's in the other room i don't know guys <laughs> um but that's a great great example okay so this is i think the last um out of the diys it's the holiday dreamy bath soak so again this time of year all about you know supporting your skin and in like when we're inside all this time, I think we spend a lot more on our self care. I find in the summer times we're outside so much that we maybe lack a lot of having those deep baths and deep cleansing rituals for our face and our own self care. So this is a great simple recipe again with things that you have around the house. So some Epsom salt, some baking soda. So it's going to be very detoxifying for your body too. Some lavender and either rosemary or aroma touch which is beautiful, super easy to do. Okay, I'm pretty sure it is time for another giveaway while I fix my slides. Okay, so what is gonna be my question? So if you've won once, you can't win again, I'm sorry, that's just to share. Um, 
what DIY have you made? Post in the chat. First one wins. Hand soaps. Woohoo, Jordan, you win. And you win. Dun, 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 dun. A five mil holiday joy blend. Woohoo! Congratulations. Jordan, just writing you down. Holiday joy. You've never tried it. Well, you're going to love it. It is very festive and spicy, and it's it smells like Christmas. All right. Let's see if I can get through these slides. <laughs> Breaking my computer. I give up. I literally, I literally give up. <laughs> uh, I've never had this many tech issues. What is going on? OMG. I should just give someone else the reins to do this, but I don't know what's happening with my computer. It's just having a day. Okay, um, so I find this time of year is creating, you know, that festive atmosphere when someone walks into your home, having that nice, warm, comforting feeling. So here's some great things to do with the family and how to create a great environment for everyone. So here's some fun family things to do or if you do them as well. So if you're sending out seasonal cards this year, um, I love sticking them in a bag and then putting a cotton ball with some holiday joy. Um, oh, Lori is entering. Perfect. Um, holiday joy in there and just let them sit overnight and email them out. And they have this like beautiful scent when someone opens up their card. It's just like a really cool personal touch that you don't necessarily would do necessarily. And it's just like, it's a nice, pleasant surprise. Um, as well, this is also a great little fun recipe to make your own like potpourri. It would be great for like kids. Um, so just using some pine cones in a decorative bowl, and then you just like add some oils to it and there's your own little natural room diffuser, which is fun. I think this time of year is all about creating traditions or just connecting with people. So this is some fun little ways to do that. All right, here is another recipe. This is salt door dough ornaments. So again, for the kids pulling out those handy dandy cookie cutters after you're done making some cookies make some salt dough ornaments um, and you can add your essential oils to it. So super cool. And then you can decorate them how you want. It's just a fun activity. There's, I think there's no kids on the call. If you have elf, if you have an elf that visits your home every year, this might be an activity that he plans for your kids. Um, I know some people are not a fan of the elf, but I think it's really cool and magical. <laughs> I won't put it in my home. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> you know, it's just bath salt ornament. So this is kind of a DIY and it can be uh, something that you do together with the family. So usually you can go to the dollar store this time of year and find those plastic ornaments. And this is a great thing to put on your presents, like with your bow. Like I like adding just like a fun little something with the gifts. Um, you fill it with some Epsom salts and then of course fill it with your oils of choice. Um, some great suggestions would be lavender and Roman chamomile or vanilla and citrus bloom because that would be epic in the bathtub or serenity and balance or adaptive, um, especially if someone's dealing with, um, I mean, I think we're all dealing with the overwhelming life right now, but it's just a nice touch on that gift. Okay, Jordan, here's your roller bowl recipe. So this is the holiday mindfulness roller. 
So that comes with some frankincense, peppermint, lavender, grapefruit, rosemary, and fractionated coconut oil. And then of course, like making it pretty and making it unique and putting it in the stocking stuffer. And it's just a really nice, thoughtful gift. So as a general um, tip, dilution ratio for kids, not babies, is about 10 to 15 drops for a roller ball. So a 10 mil roller ball. And then um, 20 to 30 for adults. Also, it's a great upcycling thing. Again, if you have, if you've used like this, no, this one isn't empty. It's the frankincense in my bathroom that's empty. Um, again, just soak those roller labels off and you can upcycle your rollers because these metal roller balls are like super good quality and I love reusing my roller balls. So cute. What would you sub grapefruit with? Um, any citrus, I prefer, I really like green mandarin this time of year. Tangerine is beautiful. Um, wild orange, if you've got it. Honestly, you can't go wrong with any citrus, even bergamot, it would just be beautiful. Great question. Okay, surviving the holidays. The holidays, and this time of year can bring out the best in people. It can also bring out the worst in people. So here's some great tips and tricks. And I just love the intention when doTERRA makes a recipe. It is very sitting. Um, our holiday joy is, yeah, it's festive. It's to get into Christmas holiday spirit. But, you know, it's all about personal boundaries. It's very protective oil, especially for um, respecting personal space. So if you have it diffusing in your home and someone walks into your home, um, they will also be getting those benefits as well. So this is a great one to diffuse at family get togethers, dinners, having friends over, or maybe if you just are having a bunch of family that you only see every few times of year and you know, stuff can be hard. So that's a great oil to have. The second one um, that's really protective as well is On Guard. So yeah, it's epic for immune supporting. We all know that, but it's also very protective for our energy. So if you're needing extra support in those areas, I highly recommend applying it up and down your spine. That is great for centering your body and also separating any energetic ties um, that you have with people. So holiday peace. I diffuse this one a lot right now. I really like it. Um, it has a lot of those tree oils, um, but it's just really calming and relaxing. And it kind of smells like a fresh cut tree. So it's kind of like, you know, your Christmas tree. Our tree is fake, unfortunately. So that's our my, that's my Christmas tree smell. Um, Zengest, when you've had one too many helplings of turkey dinner, or, you know, you had the extra cookie before Santa came and just to the rescue. So again, um, great tips is putting a drop in your water before you eat or just applying it over your belly button is wonderful. Wild orange, so good this time of year. If you guys notice, like there's just been very consistent oils. I love that this entire workshop you could probably do with just five oils um, besides a couple of the rollerball recipes, but most of the DIYs, you just need those foundational oils and a couple spices. Wild orange this time of year is epic for just creating some positive lightness. Um, it's energizing, it's awakening, and it's super uplifting. And it's very much for tapping into your creativity and bringing in abundance in your life. The adaptive mist, you can just use regular adaptive for, yeah, decreasing the stresses of the everyday um, for creating a calm environment, especially in your mental pathways, if you're finding it's chaotic and it's just a very, very soothing oil. I'm hoping we can get through this PowerPoint. There we go. And that is all you guys. Okay, so wishing you guys a very Merry Christmas and I will stop sharing and stop recording so we can talk.